everybody. Once again, it's Byron Bullock, and it's good to be back with you guys out here. And um, today we're going to pick up where we left off from the last video, which we were working on the seven steps of the C major scale, which we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B. That's seven notes, okay? Those are seven notes. So we we done three of the notes in that scale on the last video. So we're going to pick up on the fourth note, and I'm going to take you to the other four notes in that scale to complete the seven. And I'm going to show you guys how to work that in uh, with a 2-5-1 progression, and then show you some other stuff as well. But that will complete the seven steps. And I want y'all to understand this. It's only seven notes in that scale. And it doesn't matter what key you play it in. It's still seven notes. So we're not going to make anything complicated. It's, we're going to keep it simple as always. Because I want you guys to really understand this and get this. And not be intimidated about solo and improvising over any genre of music. Okay? So... In a short period of time, I'll be right back. Bye. Okay, I'm back. Now, let's do a little recap of where we left off on the last video. Um, we had C major 7, which is our home, which is our house. This is where all of those seven notes live. Okay? We got to remember that house because that, that, that's where we're going to start everything. And everything is going to work and function as it's supposed to out of that house, okay? Now, we have C, C major 7, D minor 7, E minor 7, F major 7, G 11, A minor 7, and B minor 7 flat at 5th. Okay, and that's the sixth note because before we come back to C major seven, which from one to eight is an octave, but we're dealing with only seven notes, so don't be confused. We're not gonna go to the eighth because that's gonna be the one again. Okay, so we're dealing with those seven notes. Now, when we play the scale, we play the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's our seventh note. Okay? And we know if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we back to one again, which is eight as well. So now, following the scale, and that's in any key. I don't care if it's a sharp or whatever key you decide to play in. But we're going to stay with C. Because it's, it's, it's real simple for you to understand everything out of C, okay? Now, we went to, to D, which is the second note in that scale. And this We're just recapping right now. Then we went to E. So if I start on E, I'm going to stop on E. But I'm not changing the structure of the scale. It's still, it's still the key of C. Okay? And we're playing a C major scale. Okay? Now, so we stopped on the E, which is the third note in the C major scale. Now the next note in the C major scale is the F. That's our next note in the scale, which would be the fourth position. I'll play it again. Now, the next position would be the fifth position, which is the G. So after F, comes G. That's the G. Fifth position. OK? 
Okay, now we're going to go to the A, which is going to be the sixth position. See what I'm doing? Now we're going to go to the, uh, the seventh position, which is going to be the B. That's the last position before we go back to our one position. Now, I'm going to show you how you work those different positions, okay? And I'm not going to confuse you with Aoladia, Mixoladia, and I'm, we're not doing that in this lesson, okay? We're going to just say seven positions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, you have such awesome power at your disposal with those seven notes, those seven positions. Because watch, I'm just going to mix them up just a little bit, and then I'm going to put a backing track on so you can see how I mix them up while playing with a backing track, or if you were playing with a band, okay? So watch what I do. And watch my positions, because I'll, I'll, I'll play the first, the second, the third, the fourth position. Then I'll mix them up, and so forth and so forth, so on. La, ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Da, 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 da. La, da, 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 da. La, da, 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 da. Now watch how I just mix that up, okay? And then you don't have to play them in any order or none of that stuff. You just play whatever you feel. <laughs> That's improvisation. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just mixing them up. Da, 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 da. That's all I'm doing. I'm just mixing up those seven positions. So I'm not doing nothing that you can't do. So we keeping this simple. Okay? Let's play. Let's do A. That's where I'm at. I'm right there. Let's do um D. That's all I'm doing. I'm just mixing it up any kind of way I feel in my heart to mix it. I can do like this. I can follow the skill, actually. Watch. Just done. I played whatever I felt like playing. Watch. I'm just playing those seven notes. I'm not doing anything different. Now you might be thinking, wait. He said more notes than he said. Right, because I can put in my arpeggios. Right? I can put in arpeggios. I can also put in some chromatics. Watch. Chromatics. You can do that. No one's stopping you from doing it. Put in some chromatics within the seven note scale. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go again. Now watch. 
I can take off from there, because if I'm working with D, I can go. I'm still in this C major seven house. This is my house, C major. I live there. So all of the notes in the different um, positions are going to sound good. Watch. There you go. Watch. See? There we go. Watch. So if I just play that card and play all of those positions that's within the scale of C, they're gonna sound good. This is something that actually I feel as though a, a beginner player that that don't have a lot of experience and they understand this concept that I'm teaching and how to follow the scale, they can do this. They can do this all day long. So what I want to do is put on a backing track to teach you guys how to be able to follow that scale and play along with a backing track. Okay? I'll be right back. Beep, 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 beep,
you see me work the seven positions. And I'm just playing anything that I want to play, anything I feel, anything that you feel, just play it. Just play the different seven positions. And you can be so creative, you don't have to remember what you're playing. You just play what you feel. It's going to sound good. Guys, it's going to sound good. And you don't want to make this stuff complicated. I know a lot of people out there, they're making stuff so complicated. You just don't understand it and you get frustrated and you throw your guitar on the side. But this is something that you can get up off of your sofa, your chair, whatever you're sitting in. And say, let me apply what Byron Bullock is saying. Let me apply these simple techniques of just following the scale. And you're going to see like, wait, you're going to start sounding good. And you're going to be like, wow, man, this is something. I get little emails and notes from people from all over the world. They say, man, you made this so simple. Something I've been trying to understand all my life. Come on, man. It's not complicated. I want you to understand it. I'm not doing anything that no one else can do. That's why I'm not out here to try to show off my guitar scales. That's not what I'm about. I don't even want to do that. That's boring to me. But for me to teach you and you get something out of this, now nah, that's where the excitement come from me. Because that's my passion is teaching. So if you guys are getting something out of this video and you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And if you, there's going to be some links down below for this, um, the backing track for the 251 in C major. And also, it'll be a link to um, my sites and stuff like that if you guys decide to take it further and come aboard with me for personal lessons. I do lessons all over the country with people and um, it's online, it's remotely, plus obviously I have in-house students as well that come to the studio and learn it as well but i would love to meet you guys and 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 further your education on the guitar and and we can get really in depth in and and show you how all of this stuff is pulled together but just remember that once you learn the seven note concept there's no music that you cannot play on this earth okay so anyway i'm gonna let you guys go now and I'm going to see you guys on the next video. I'm, I'm not going to promise, but I'm going to try to do at least once a month video. I'm going to try. And it um, depends on my schedule and how I'm you know, working my music and stuff. So anyway, you guys practice. You know, Send me some notes or whatever like that. Uh, any questions that you might have. And if I'm on the internet or YouTube or something like that, I'll answer or whatever like that. Okay? So you guys continue to practice. Stay on top of your box, okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.